In this video, we are going to be covering some subtle easter eggs you probably missed in season 9 episodes of Spongebob Squarepants. Wait, before we get started though, leave a comment down below letting us know what your favorite Spongebob character is. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you'll be entered into our monthly shoutout giveaway. Our first easter egg appears in the form of the episode Sharks vs Pods. The main premise of this episode is that Spongebob gets caught up in a gang of shark-like creatures, to which he starts getting buddy-buddy with them. Upon doing so, Spongebob is invited to their crew. This results in the crew going to a club known as the Howl and Marlin. However, they get turned away from the club and run into another gang, that being their rival gang. While this easter egg isn't anything within the episode itself, it's more so to do with the episode's concept of gangs and rivals, being as though this episode pays a slight homage to the Broadway musical West Side Story, whereby the musical in question has two rival gangs known as the Sharks and the Jets. Slow down, this is our spot, Sponge. Huh? The pods. Uh, what? It's our rivals. The Pods. Pods. Sharks. Pods. Sharks. Pods. Sharks. Pods. Sharks. Another easter egg prevalent within the episode, Sharks vs Pods, we can see Spongebob coming home after being involved in more of the gang's deplorable acts and troubling ways. To which he has a monologue about how he wants to go into hiding after being caught up in the gang's antics. While this monologue goes on, he proceeds to say that he will have to leave his job at the Krusty Krab. Upon saying so, we can see an image of the hydrodynamic spatula used in the first pilot episode for the show. Here, take a look. Showdown? I can't fight in a showdown! I'll have to go into the witness protection program. I'll have to quit working at the Krusty Krab. I'll never flip a succulent Krabby Patty ever again. Our next easter egg comes in the form of the episode, Larry's Gym. The plot synopsis for the episode goes as follows. Larry the Lobster announces that he will be opening up a new gym for the Bikini Bottom residents, as he feels as though all of them are out of shape. What can I say, he's just being humble, what a guy. Anyway, as they walk through the gym, you can see the different motivational posters of Larry in the background. Most of them are pretty standard until we get to the one that says no slacking. This poster seems to be a subtle nod to two things at the same time. The stance with the hand pointing out looks to reference the Uncle Sam I Want You posters, whereas his face and the message itself bears more similarity to Big Brother Is Watching You, a character and symbol in the George Orwell novel 1984. First thing tomorrow morning, this is gonna be where I lead my exercise class. I'll be there. That's the spirit. And we're going to get you started early. Let me see some crunches. <laughs> The next easter egg occurs during the episode, Snail Mail, whereby Spongebob becomes bored due to Patrick's absence, to which he starts reading a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy comic and flips to the section about pen pals. Upon seeing this, he decides to write a letter about the pen pals to which Gary gets all of his slime all over the letter which soon follows up by Gary taking a nap on top of the letter. Quite rude, but we'll let it slide. Point being is that the easter egg occurs not during the episode, but more so the title card whereby the easter egg in question is a reference to an earlier Spongebob episode from season 7 titled Cracked Crabs, whereby Mr. Krabs gets nominated for being the cheapest crab and has to leave town for a ceremony. The way in which himself and Spongebob get to the ceremony is via a letter at the cost of a one cent stamp. This exact same stamp makes a prominent appearance on the title screen for Snail Mail. Our next easter egg is within the episode, Patrick Man. This episode is all about Patrick being fed up with the mundane life he lives. Therefore, he seeks for a greater purpose in life, that being becoming a superhero. 
akin to the lives of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. However, this isn't where the Easter egg is. The Easter egg being that after SpongeBob leaves for work, Patrick watches a cruise ship advert narrated by Nicholas Withers. If he looks familiar, that's because he is the host of the in-universe show, House Fancy. Hmm. Thinking is painful! Break time! Are you irritable? Less, less, jobless. Do you ever ask yourself, I'm a loser. What am I doing with my life? Then look no further. I have the answer that's helped millions of Be all you can. In the episode Salsa and Bacillus, Plankton gets a hold of Patrick's DNA and makes a sauce that causes a person to become as dumb as him. However, there is a particular stench that causes a cloud that rains on Bikini Bottom. Everybody gets infected by it with the exception of Sandy and Karen. After forming a university and teaching everyone to go back to normal, Plankton nearly bullies Mr. Krabs into giving him the Krabby Patty formula. Despite this, at the last minute, Sandy interrupts by revealing her presence through a one-way chalkboard. Which is a callback to the season 3 episode, New Student Starfish, whereby Miss Puff does the same thing to Spongebob and Patrick. Mr. Krabs your diploma! Thanks to this here diploma, I'm suddenly smart enough to never give you me secret formula! What? If I knew education worked like that, I would have bought a diploma years ago! Of course it doesn't work like that, you microscopic meathead! I took accelerated classes and graduated months ago! This diploma is just a formality! But, but, you were just about to give me the formula! Y you were scared of me! Excellent, Mr. Krabs! Here's your final grade for acting class! A plus! I really felt the fear! Wait, what? We did it, Patrick! We saved Roger's life! Good job, boys! I saw the whole thing from behind my one-way chalkboard, and I couldn't be happier with your teamwork! Our next mistake occurs during the last episode, Lame and Fortune, whereby Spongebob finds fortune cookies that seem to predict the future, and starts selling them at the Krusty Krab. Shortly after, word gets to Plankton and he sabotages them with fake fortunes, causing customers to leave for the chum bucket and claiming Mr. Krabs would die if he didn't get the Krabby Patty formula. As Spongebob sets out to deliver the recipe, Plankton gets knocked into the crowd and stepped on and by doing so, transformed into a particular shape. The shape in question is very reminiscent of the original Nickelodeon Splat logo. How cool is that? Here's a clip. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 